Today, I'm going to talk about how to keep your mind healthy or abundance. Your mind will either make you rich or poor, depending on what you do about it. Keep watching and let's dive into how your mind really affects your life. Hello everyone, my name is Afalaka Janet Oyelami. What I'm discussing today will determine where your life is heading. It will determine the future. What do you think you are doing at this time of the year that will keep your brain and mind healthy and active? But before I talk more on this topic, let me give the keyword that summarize today's topic. Today's keyword says, your mind is a battleground. Can't you see what the Bible say that on the judgment day, the secret of the mind, the thoughts that went through your mind will be revealed. This means your mind is what determines your life experience. If you believe you are poor in the mind, that is what you will experience. If you believe you are rich in the mind, that is what will happen to you. I will say this, your mind controls your destiny. Before I speak more on today's topic, let me give you the example of how our mind works based on what happened in the Bible. In the Bible, God told Abraham to look up to the sky and God said, what do you see? Abraham replied, he sees the stars. God replied, what you see is what you get. This example is just a summary of the old story about Abraham. God told him to look into the sky that his children be as many as stars in heaven. Most people focus more on physical exercise, but focus less on the mind exercise. Like I said before in one of my videos, that if you eat well, you do physical exercise, but you refuse to focus on exercise of your mind, on the peace of your mind, let me tell you the truth. You can still fall sick even after eating well or doing physical exercise. If you do not work on your mind, if you do not work on your mind, you can still remain poor for life. If you do not work on your mind, you can still remain average person for life. How does our mind affect our life? One of the benefits is this. Your mind will determine how far you will go in life. Your mind will determine the destiny. Your mind will improve your productivity in business and at work. Your mind will strengthen your relationship with other people. If you have a healthy mind, your mind will definitely make you to discover who you are meant to be. Now, let me go straight to the point. How can you make your mind healthy in order to bring abundance, money, peace to your life? Number one, make sure you read positive materials, positive book, no matter how your body feels. Even if your body don't feel like reading, make sure you push yourself to read something. Brian Tracy said, our mind, human mind, love new ideas. And reading positive books, positive news, will make you to function well so that you will be able to achieve whatever you desire in life. Let me give you an example on how you can make your reading enjoyable. A few years ago, for the past few years now, I've been reading on Kindle. But I noticed that I enjoy reading through audiobooks recently. 
because I want to develop myself and get more better. So therefore, I chose to start reading through audiobooks and I enjoy it more. So if you don't feel like reading, you know what you can do? If you want audiobook, get audiobook. If you want Kindle book, get Kindle book. But if you like reading physical book, get it. Whatever method you think will make you to feel like reading, choose it. Because reading will make your heart, your mind, your soul to be healthy. Number two, develop good habit. Your habit will either push you forward or backward in life. If you have a wrong habit or bad habit of sleeping too much, you know what you can do? The only thing you can do is just to stop that habit and choose the good habit that will make you to wake up on time, to do what you need to do on time. Most successful people today only overcome bad habit just by swapping bad or good. In this year, have a plan. Write it down on how to overcome your bad habit. Set a goal on how to overcome your bad habit. Write down your goal on how to overcome your bad habit. I learned this from Brand Tracy. He said, Write down some goals on how to overcome your bad habit. Maybe you want to overcome drinking alcohol this year. Write down the goal like this. I will stop drinking alcohol totally by February 29. If by February 1, I will start reducing my alcohol drinking. By February 29th, totally I will stop doing it. Because if you are addicted to something, it's difficult to leave it suddenly. Gradually, gradually drop your bad habit by writing down your goals. And lastly, I will only talk about three things to do on how to make your mind and soul work for you perfectly. And the third one says, practice affirmation. You know, I always talk about this on my channel. Affirmation has turned my life around for good. You know, we as human beings are in charge of our soul, of our mind. You have the power to reprogram your mind, your brain, for positive lifestyle. You can get affirmation online or you can create affirmation for yourself. Look at your life. Maybe you never believed in yourself before. How can you create a positive affirmation for yourself to make your mind work for you perfectly? You can start by saying, I love myself. I am beautiful. Say it every day. Create affirmation for yourself that will turn your mind, reprogram your mind for a better life. When you keep on saying it every single day, every single day, I tell you the truth. Your mind will absorb it and start work for you perfectly. I will continue the second part of this topic next week on how your mind can make you become rich or poor. In conclusion, Jesus said, I will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is kept on me. The only solution to a peaceful mind, perfect mind, healthy mind is also Jesus Christ. The three points I shared earlier is your own part you are doing. But the one that will make your heart, your mind to have peace and to achieve anything you want in life is Jesus Christ. I hope this impacts you today. I hope this encourages you to run after your dream. Speak to you soon. God bless.